Hey guys, so I want to come on and talk about this hair of mine. This is honestly bed hair. I sleep in about four twists, and then I take them out, and I usually do some type of style in my hair, probably a high bun, low bun, a uh, sloppy bun, something like that. I usually don't leave my hair out, or sometimes I do like half up, half down. So this is basically bed hair. But I want to come on and talk about how my hair is growing like crazy. As you guys know, I recently cut my hair probably to like right here. It was like a, a slight bob of some sort, which I really didn't want. I just really needed a trim. But anyway, my hair is growing like crazy. And I want to talk about what has been contributing to for the last, probably since August, so the last two to three months um, with the growth of my hair. So number one is Jamaican black castor oil and protective styling. Um, throughout the summer, I did do about two months of protective styling, which really gave my hands and me and all the the products that I use a break in my hair and it definitely um thrived with my hair my hair is definitely not the type of hair that is used to protective styling so after two months I thought like that was enough I did about three weeks in between just to give my hair a rest um also Jamaican black castor oil right now I'm using the DNA miracle treatment the Jamaican black castor oil um, honestly, it doesn't matter which one I use as long as it's like, um, Jamaican black castor oil. But I got this from my local beauty supply store. The other one I actually bought online and it was like the tropical one. That's the more popular one because I haven't seen this one, but it works just as good. Um, ingredients. It's a lot of crap in here. So, um, it's like, um, sun, sunflower oil, um, castor, basically saying it's not 100%, um, castor oil. I think the other one was, but like I said, it works just as well for me. Using this with, um, in August, I was, August, September, I was using this with, um, olive oil, and now I'm using it with coconut oil for the colder months for more moisture, and it's working just as the same. As you guys know, I love Shea Moisture, and I have been using Shea Moisture products. Now, this one is a new one for me. I don't like it that much, but of course, I love, love, love the, um, Rinse out conditioner and the deep conditioner, which is in my bathroom right now. Those are the products that I use. I rotate them sometimes. Um, I wash my hair, try to wash my hair every 7 to 10 days. And I use this for the most part. Maybe once a month I will rotate, but I try to use this as much as possible. Um, if I don't want to use this as a leave-in then I go to my Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner which is a staple which really doesn't help my hair with growth but it gives me moisture so right now I don't know this product seems like it's like dulling my hair a little bit um it definitely has to have some type of protein agent in it because it doesn't feel as moisturizing as this so whatever leave-in property maybe it's the keratin because isn't that protein right but this has keratin in it too and it does it doesn't do that to my hair, so, um, I don't know. It's something in this product that makes my ends a little bit drier. Um, my roots are always more moisturized than my, um, no, my roots, yeah, are always more moisturized than my ends, which most naturals are, but I don't know. Something about this product, let me know if you guys have used this and also used the other line and let me know if, like, this is the one product that you're like, uh, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's a huge product. I actually got it for $8.99 at CVS. They had a sale for, like, two weeks or so. But anywho, that is definitely what's been growing my hair like crazy. Um, Jamaican black castor oil is definitely a staple. I do want to straighten my hair soon, probably in about February-ish. Is that soon? <laughs> and I want to color my hair, so I definitely want to make sure my hair is healthy. Um, I don't know, some, some of my videos, you can see that my hair is dull and turning red at the ends. So I definitely want to, ugh, my hair looks so dry. Y'all gonna think it look good. I know y'all, y'all always so nice to me. But no, this crap looks a mess. Um, but I do like to sleep with my hair in um, twists. I don't know, it helps me. I don't like sleeping with my hair out. Um, I don't sleep on a satin pillowcase, nor do I like bonnets. But yeah, you know, styles like this just look cute. Um, but anyway, alright, I'm gonna go, guys. I just wanted to pop in and tell you how much I love Jamaican black castor oil. And it's definitely been helping my hair, as you guys can see. I'm trying to grow my hair out for once. Um, I always talk about healthy hair, but I'm actually trying to grow it out and not cut it. So, let's see how that goes. Talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.